Hi everybody, this is Cheeky Tam and Tim and today I'm going to be cooking Tam some lovely Swartz chicken curry. It comes pre-mixed in a pack and all I have to do is add a few ingredients which I prepared earlier. Not really. It's going to be an easy cook it's going to go into a slow cooker and it's going to be a one pot one that looks really nice on the front. Let's see if it turns out like that. Oh, smell that. Mm. Smells really good. We need 450 grams of breast chicken, can of crushed tomatoes, some tomato puree, a cup of diced onion, some peppers, a couple of potatoes cut and diced, and finally we'll put some spinach in just before yes. we serve it. And this is very special spinach because this costs us $7.99. Can you believe that? We're getting yeah. ripped off everywhere these days. Now we're using my grandmother's old crock pot, so I hope it works. It'll work. It's perfect. Yeah, she's from the 70s, mate. <laughs> like me. Good old stuff. We'll add this into the bowl. Look at that. We'll add the tomato. Tomato puree. Why did I put that in, Tam? Well, you quite often use that with uh, curries and for casseroles and stuff. It's just like a really rich, reduced tomato flavouring through it. Okay. Mix all it together. You got this spoon too if you want a professional stir. You see why you're the cook and I'm not? Yeah, it's better. It smells really good. Definitely cumin in it. Throw your onions, your peppers, your potato, oh, everything just goes into the cooker yeah. and then cover it, except for the spinach. All right, so. The peppers, well, capsicum, potato, and 450 grams of nice lean chicken breast. Tip this into it. Give it a good stir around so it's all covered. Don't have to put any water in or anything. That's I don't good. know how that's going to cook, but anyway. No, it says it will. All right, that looks like it's covered. How easy is that, honestly? Put the lid on it, turn it on auto shift. So this one will heat itself up to get hot and then it drops to low. So <sighs> it's all done. We'll see you in eight hours time. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, so by six o'clock tonight, it'll be all ready. That's the hard part, isn't it? Having to make dinner at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, but a lot of people do that when they work in town. They just put it all on the slow cooker and off they go to work and they come home and it's a home cooked meal How for them. How do you them. know if it's working? Oh, the light's on. Well, guys, it's been a real tiring day. It's been seven hours and 55 minutes and I'm still cooking. We've only got five minutes to go, so let's whack this in. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a bit out of control. A lot there, isn't there? Okay, it's in. Shouldn't you sort of poke it through a bit? I think just to sort of get it in there, otherwise, just a little bit. Oh, it's too hard, isn't it? Forget it, forget it. It'll steam down. Yeah. Then we'll stir it in. Five minutes has passed. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa, look at that. Does that look like the cover? That's a very good question. That's not far off. Yeah, that's it's pretty a bit like it. close. So we're going to serve it up with rice tonight. Looks good. Chicken looks really cooked, doesn't it? Like really, really cooked or really cooked? Like really cooked. <laughs> like it's been cooked too long. Oh no, oh no. It doesn't matter. Uh, maybe we can blame my grandma's old crock pot for this one, slow cooker. No, you blame the cook. Oh no, no, never. So what do you think? Does that look all right? I think it does. Well, it's slow cooked chicken curry. Chicken seems very tender. Pop. It's sweeter than I thought it would be. Well, it does say this is a mild curry, and this says it serves four people. So there is a definitely an upper four in here. The flavour of it is very, very mild. So if you don't really like a strong, hot curry, then you might like this. Very heavily tomato based, which is the main sauce we put in it, wasn't mm -hmm. it? I'd like it spicier, to be honest. Yeah, same. I suppose the thing is I have a lot of Indian foods, but this isn't like an Indian curry. No. You like the potato in it? I love potato. Um, I think you needed the rice. Uh-huh. Don't know about the spinach. Mm -hmm. I think I would have rather had some beans in it. Capsicum slash peppers go well in it. Mm -hmm. The chicken itself is cooked pretty well in it. I think the potatoes do go nice in it. Capsicum peppers go well in it. Spinach, yeah, I know what you're saying. And I'm a spinach lover, but not so much in this. I just feel like there should be some other kind of vegetable or cook the spinach and put it on the side or something. And I would definitely like it to be spicier. Would I get this again? Probably not. No, I'm the same. I wouldn't get it again. I think there's better curries out there. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Mm. But if you served it up to me, I would still eat it. Mm. It doesn't 
taste weird or fake or anything like that, it's okay. It was easy to cook, put in a pot and wait all day. We did go and visit someone this afternoon when we came back in the house, not quite nice from the curry. Mm. There was that to mm. it too, I mm. thought that was nice. I'm gonna give this one a six and a half out of 10. Yeah, I'd go six. Six out of 10 for me. Hmm. I'd like a little bit more spice to it. I certainly wouldn't put spinach back in. If I did, I wouldn't put so much. Yeah. And I think some nice crisp little beans in there would be nice. You know what I'd like to see in this? Chickpeas. No, no, chickpeas. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And thank you so much, Brian, for sending us this mixture. We really do appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Uncle Brian, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bon Bye. Good appetit, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm. It just feels like there's something missing from this and I don't know what it is.